The STARS model is a simulation model that my team developed to predict survival, travel time, and migration routing of juvenile Chinook salmon migrating through the Delta. It's based on statistical analysis of multiple years of telemetry data. And I think this model really exemplifies how the detailed information and acoustic tagging data can be used to build models to better understand how juvenile salmon respond to the environment and to water management actions. This in turn can better help us manage water to recover salmon populations. So if you click up on this tab, it'll bring you to a page where you have some plots that show uh, river flows on the bottom chart with uh, these shaded areas representing periods when the Delta Cross Channel was open. And now this is for the current water year and it's updating every day. This is early March and so this is just river flows from just a few days ago and this model is updating every single day. And what it's doing on this top plot is predicting the survival of a daily cohort of fish that enter the delta on that given day and experience those given river flows. And then these shaded areas on this plot represent uncertainty intervals, or the, in other words, the variability in survival that we might see from, from uh, cohort to cohort migrating through the delta. And as you can see on this plot, that uh, survival is tightly linked to flow. So when river flow increases, so does survival. Now over here on the left, we have some different radio buttons that allow you to look at travel time, route specific survival, route specific travel time, and routing probabilities. So let's just briefly go to route specific survival. So this model is also predicting survival through different migration routes. And let's go ahead up here, we can toggle off the uncertainty interval since it's kind of busy. And then we see the uh, daily survival for four different migration routes. We have Sacramento River, Sutter and Steamboat Slough, Delta Cross Channel, and Georgiana Slough. And what we see here is survival is still related to river flows, but uh, we see a big difference in survival between fish that go through the Southern Delta through Georgiana Slough versus fish that stay in the Sacramento River or stay in the North Delta. And lastly, on this last tab, we have routing probabilities. So these are showing the proportion of fish migrating through each migration route for a cohort of fish entering on a given day. Routing probabilities combined with the route specific survival, those interact to influence uh, the overall survival of juvenile salmon migrating through the Delta. I hope you find this as useful as I do. Thanks.